to our new day nursery. We call our nursery the Little Lambs class. Um, this is real ministry to our families here at New Day. It is ministering not only to our sweet babies who come in here, but to their parents, which allows them to go to the service. Um, so I do appreciate each one of you uh, being a part. Come on in. All right, when you sign up to work in our New Day nursery, the typical commitment is two times per quarter. So that works out to about once every uh, six weeks or so. It, I make a schedule, send it out via email, and um, you can put it on your calendar. If something comes up and you have to change, uh, look at the schedule, see if there's someone who could switch with you, um, give them a call, work that out, and uh, then let me know what happens so that I know who's in here. People often ask me, Jenny, what time should I come to the nursery? And the answer is um, not on new day time. Uh, new day time tends to run a little behind, but what I have found is most new families tend to come on time. So if you could plan to be in our nursery at about 9.55 um, and just make sure that everything is ship shape, that is great. Um, if you find that no one is coming down here, uh, you can walk down the end of the hallway and sort of participate um, in the service and just kind of keep an eye and see who might be headed down this way. Uh, when you're scheduled to be in the nursery, there are generally two to three people scheduled to be in here. Usually uh, there is always an adult. The second helper can be an adult or a high school student, and the third helper is usually a bomb squad or a junior high helper. Everybody has a name tag, so find your name tag, and you can wear it either on a lanyard or on a clip, so you can find um, what your preference is. Uh, the biggest thing about that though is if you are the only one in here, please don't take any babies until your second um, helper arrives. When the babies come in, you can have a volunteer come over and help mom and dad check in. If their name is already on our list, they can put an initial by um, the name under the date. If they're new babies, please have mom and dad write the first and last name of baby down and uh, also their birth date so that we know how old they are. Um, if they're new parents uh, to New Day, you can have them tell you where they're sitting so that if their baby needs them, we can run down and grab them. Um, or if you're comfortable, take their cell phone number and you can send a text to them if their baby needs them. Um, texts do work in this building, but phone calls do not. New Day, because we are in a junior high, we don't have a regular diaper station, so you sort of have to set it up yourself. So just take our pad, put it on a surface such as a desk, and then in the box you'll find wipes, bags, gloves, um, extra diapers, and in the other bin there's hand sanitizer. So, you know, it's basic diaper changing. Wash your hands either with a wipe or with the hand sanitizer. Change the baby here, wipe the mat down with another wipe. Unfortunately, um, parents get to take dirty diapers home. So put dirty diapers in a bag like this, and uh, they get to be sent home with the parents. We're not allowed to throw the dirty diapers away in the trash cans here at the school. When you arrive at the nursery on your day, you'll find it very similar to how it's set up now. There will be um, swings and chairs, toys out, our little tunnels, a few of the other toys. You will probably have to set up um, the diaper changing area for yourself or if there's anything else that you're noticing that you want, it should be located on the carts over here. Um, and then what was what would be helpful to our cleanup crew is if you help pack everything back up. So put the toys in the toy bin, pack up the diaper bin again. Um, they'll do the bigger stuff like the rugs and the, the tubes and the chairs, but if you could do the toys and the other things, that would be great. The other important aspect to keep everybody healthy and clean is um, at the end of the morning, uh, it would be great if you could take a Clorox wipe and if you can wipe down some of the toys that you notice might have been in somebody's mouth, that would be great. The toys will get a bath usually about once a quarter. And then also the kids like to suck on and lick and do other things to this uh, gate. So if you could just run a wipe along the top of the gate, that would be great as well. Okay, we also um, want everybody to stay nice and healthy in our nursery. So if there are babies who have some green or yellow um, snot coming out, they can't stay because we don't want to spread that around. If it's clear, it's probably allergy or teething or something, so that's okay. Also, if they have had diarrhea within the last 24 hours, we also would encourage parents not to leave that child. Another safety 
uh, requirement that we have here at New Day is if you are over the age of 18, we'll have you fill out a state patrol uh, background check. It is a very simple form. It's just your name, your birth date, and your driver's license number. And that's it. Well, thank you for being a part and taking a part and watching this uh, training video. I really appreciate the time um, that you took to do that. I just wanted to remind everybody once again that when you welcome these little ones in Jesus' name, you're welcoming Jesus. So thank you so much.